from the Lakeside Newsroom of the Henrico Citizen, your hometown news source since 2001. This is the Henrico News Minute with publisher Tom Lapis. The Virginia Supreme Court gets involved in the dispute over school masking, sort of, and a band with Henrico ties earns national acclaim. We'll tell you more in today's Henrico News Minute. It's Tuesday, February 8th, 2022. It's brought to you today by Henrico County. And now for the news. Well, it was a little icier overnight than maybe expected, and into this morning's commute there were a number of accidents reported locally, and Henrico and Richmond Police closed the Willie Bridge because of ice and associated accidents. I hope you made it where you were going safely today. The Virginia Supreme Court yesterday dismissed a lawsuit that claimed Governor Glenn Youngkin's executive order to permit parents to exempt their children from school masking requirements violates the state constitution. The lawsuit was filed January 18th by a group of Chesapeake parents who said the governor's order clashed with existing state law that required school systems to follow guidelines from the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. Now, The court's dismissal of the case was a technical one. Justices wrote that they did not have the ability to issue a writ of mandamus, which is what the plaintiffs were seeking. Legal officials said the decision didn't give much indication as to which way the court ultimately would rule on the merits of Youngkin's executive order. Despite that, Youngkin and Attorney General Jason Miares interpreted the dismissal of the case as a win for their administration. But House of Delegates Minority Leader Eileen filler Korn disagreed. Two additional cases challenging Youngkin's order remain. One is in federal court, the other is in Arlington County. The latter case was filed by seven s- local school boards, including Fairfax County and the city of Richmond, claiming that the executive order undermines the authority that existing state law gives school boards. On Friday, a judge in that case ruled in favor of the school boards, temporarily blocking Youngkin's order. Now, as always, you can read much more about this topic on HenricoCitizen.com. Just click on News and then Education. A local alt-rock band with Henrico ties has been recognized in a global competition. Wine and War Paint was among 26 overall winners in the Player Plus Studio Sessions powered by Fender contest and one of only two selected from the New York City area, which for the purpose of the contest included the Richmond region. Most of the band's members live in Henrico. Two are graduates of county high schools, deep run in Henrico. The band entered the competition without any expectations of winning, but its lead singer was in need of a new bass guitar, which happened to be part of the contest award, so they gave it a shot. As part of its win in December, the group traveled to the Flux Studios in New York City to spend a day recording at a professional studio. While there, they recorded their newest single, Static, which is now available on all music streaming platforms. You can visit HenricoCitizen.com to read more about the band. The Henrico Education Foundation has announced grants totaling just more than $79,000 to fund 12 innovative projects proposed by Henrico Schools educators. Among those projects are three literacy projects that focus on increasing student engagement by providing more diverse reading selections, a program at Holiday Elementary that's designed to help prepare students for preschool programs, and two projects that will help secondary school students build life and language skills. You can see a complete rundown of all the projects at HenricoCitizen.com by clicking News and then Education. Today is the last day you can get tested for COVID-19 at Richmond Raceway. The community testing center there will close after today. That announcement came yesterday from the Richmond and Henrico Health Districts, which said the move comes as the facility has witnessed lower demand for testing in the past few weeks. Officials are planning to transition the CTC into a mobile model, allowing health districts to offer testing in a variety of locations and settings. Mobile events will begin later this week, and a new schedule will be posted on the RHHD website in the coming days. You can learn more at rchd.com or by calling 205-3501. Today's Henrico News Minute has been brought to you by Henrico County, which is celebrating Black History Month all month. 
Visit the county's YouTube channel at youtube.com backslash Henrico County Government to watch original biographies and documentaries spotlighting Henrico's black community. That's youtube.com backslash Henrico County Government.